Haven't done this in a while. Ew. Well, hello. Now, I figured since it's been some time since you and I have gotten to hang out, I thought we could get together and dye Easter eggs because that is a tradition that I have. And you may not have that, but welcome to my tradition. Thank you for learning more about my culture. So Easter is the day that Jesus came back from the dead after he was killed. And right before he died, he was like, you know what, Judas, you know what I really hate? I really hate eggs that are their basic white color. And like, if I ever come back, I don't want to ever see another egg like that or I'll just like die again. And so when they heard he was coming back, they quick died all the eggs. So on Easter, we have to make sure that all the eggs are dyed or else he comes back and gives us coal in our stockings. Now the Easter color stuff comes from these little tablets that you mix with vinegar and water, but apparently Target sells an Easter egg dyeing kit that is pirate themed. Because nothing says Christ is risen more than a group of drunk men who rape, pillage, and plunder. And the box even turns into a little pirate ship. And then you put the eggs on here, isn't that fucking adorable? I died when I opened it. I am dead and I am risen. Happy Easter. <laughs> Blasphemy. So I suppose let's just go ahead and get started. So you basically just put an egg in each of the colors and then you wait until it's dyed and then you take them out and that's it. I just went nuts for this as a kid. I just fucking loved it. Changing colors of things just got me off. <laughs> that's... I'm talking about my childhood. And that's that. We I'm dying Easter eggs. Isn't this fun? There they go, there they get dyed. Oh, I didn't draw anything on any of them. But I thought what I'd do is look up some quiz questions about Easter, because I don't know if you know this, but I went to 13 years of private Catholic school, and so I thought I would just do an Easter quiz, and that way you'll get a little filled in about, you know, the Easter tradition and the Easter holiday and all that great stuff. Now the first question is, what is a crucession? A crucession is when you just go to the salad bar for croutons, you're just having yourself a good old crucession. At the Last Supper, what did Jesus liken to his body? I believe that it was the Last Supper where the term on fleek was coined, that Jesus coined the term on fleek, and he said, this is my body, it is on fleek. This is getting really offensive. I'm sure someone is offended. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. What day precedes Ash Wednesday? The day before Ash Wednesday is Fire Tuesday. How was Jesus fastened to the cross? Um, craft glue. What job did Zacchaeus hold in the Bible? Zacchaeus was Jesus' social media manager, and he was famously fired because he forgot to Instagram Jesus' last meal. And I mean, if you're gonna Instagram any of Jesus' meals, you're gonna Instagram the last one, and he didn't do it, so Jesus is like, Hashtag GTFO. Have fun never working for the Son of God again. Jesus prophesied that Peter would deny him how many times? Jesus was a super mad because Peter would not accept his friend request on Facebook. And he's like, listen, you deny me three more times, you're fucking done. And you know what? Peter did it. He kept denying, kept denying. Even after Jesus died, he denied. <sighs> And so, Jesus came, basically came back from the dead just to cyberbully him. Not many people talk about that fact, but... Okay, so, my battery's about to die, and so the time has come to pull these out and reveal what happened. Oh, look, they're a different color because I dyed them. Isn't that amazing? Ooh, some of these are so pretty! Look at that one! Ooh, oh my god. That's a gorgeous shade of whatever that is. Okay, so my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop everything so I can finish dyeing these, and then we'll come back and do more things, because I spent money to have all these extra things. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, you Okay, so here we have the finished product. God bless us, everyone. So, that is exactly what Easter is like in the Catholic tradition, and like I experienced it growing up. It was offensive, and it involved pirates. 
Did you dye eggs? Do you still dye Easter eggs? Do you have other Easter traditions? I would love to hear about them down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, bye. Ooh. I have yet to pick a winner for my Goosebumps contest, but since I'm here in front of my camera, I'm just gonna do it now. I'm gonna go to the video and pick the person who I thought had the best suggestion for a name of the series, even though I'm not using it. The winner is Duck Duck Goosebumps, which was suggested by Samantha Camillos? 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 Girl, I know you personally, and I don't know how to say your last name, so I apologize. So, Samantha, I will be contacting you, and you will have to tell me what sort of turkey puppet you want. But, stay tuned, my Goosebumps series is coming at some point. Happy Easter! Release the Kraken!